The next set of numerals, ki next kind of numerals we're going to look at are the Mayan numerals. There are three symbols used in the Mayan system. The first symbol, the thing that looks sort of like a turtle shell, is a symbol for zero, which is used like our zero. A dot is used for one, and a bar is used for five. So to write seven, it would be two dots and a bar. Mayan system was based on 20 fingers and toes. So 86 would be, now the Mayan system is written down, so the top place is the second place, the number of 20s. The bottom place, the 6, is the number of 1s. So this number would be written as, read as 4 times 20 plus 6 for a total of 86. To write 80, we would have 4 20s, so 4 in the second place, and that will use everything up so there would be zero, no ones, in the first place. If we wanted to write the Mayan number, if we wanted to write 278 as a Mayan number, we would see how many 20s it contains. 220, 278 divided by 20 is 13. So there would be 13 in the second place, that's the number of 20s, and we had 18 left over, so there would be 18 in the first place. That's the number of ones. The glitch of the system is in the third place. As the system is based on 20, we would expect the first place to be the number of ones, the second place to be the number of 20s, the third place to be the number of 20 squareds. It's not. Uh, and there's, there's a reason for this, but the, the third place is the number of 360s. So if we have this three place number, five in the second place, six, five in the third place rather, six in the second place, and seven in the first place, that would be five times 360 plus six times 20 plus seven. So five times 360 is 1,800, 6 times 20 is 120, and add them all together and we get 1927. For another example, this is a three place number. The top place, which is the second place, is 14. The second place, turtle shell, is a zero and the first place is a 5. So this would be 14 times 360, which is 5,040, plus 5 for a total of 5,045. How about Mayan numbers with more than three places? The fourth place would be the number of 7,200s. That's 360 multiplied by 20, so we're multiplying by 20 again. This four place number here, which is 15 in the fourth place, 6 in the third place, 2, or 3 rather, in the second place, and 0 in the first place. So we would have 15 times 7,200 plus 6 times 360 plus 3 times 20 plus zero, and that all adds up to 110,220. So to summarize, the, the first place, bottom place, is the number of ones. The second place is the number of twenties. The third place is the number of three sixties, 20 times 18. The fourth place, we're multiplying by 20 again. 20 times 18 times 20. Fifth place, 20 times 18 times 20 times 20. In the sixth place, multiply by 20 again, and so on. Now let's write some of our numbers as Mayan numbers. We'll start with 2,000 
329. 2,329 is smaller than 7,200, so it's going to be a three-place number. We'll divide 2,329 by 360 and get 6. So the third place will be a 6. We have 169 left over. We divide 169 by 20. We get 8. So the second place will be 8 and we have 9 left over. And that's the number of 1's. So reading down we see 6 in the second place, 6 in the third place, 8 in the second place, and 9 in the first place. Convert 8,000 to Mayan. Alright, this is big enough that we can divide 7,200 in, to, into it so it will be a four place number. So we, if we divide 7,200 into 8,000 it will go one time so the fourth place will be a one and we'll have 800 left over. Third place we'll divide 800 by 360 it will go twice so the third place will be a two and we have 80 left over. 80 uh, 20 will go into that 80 four times so the second place is a 4 and there's nothing left over so the first place is a 0.